Hi everyone, welcome to Tech Tutorials. So in this video, we are going to learn how to create a threads in Java programming language by implementing the runnable interface. So this is the second way for creating threads in Java programming language. So here is a simple program uh, that illustrates how to create uh, threads in Java using this runnable interface. So here is my thread class name table which implements the runnable interface. So this is an interface name. So because of that we are using the keyword here implements. So in run method, so simply in this program I am going to print the fourth table. Uh, see here uh, I am printing my fourth table by simply this system.out.println statement. And then uh, I am trying to print uh, the fourth table from 4 ones to 4 fifteens. Right? So here it is my main thread class. So my class name is thread example one. So here is my main method public static void main. So here I am creating the objects to my thread class that is table. So table t1 equals to new table of. So the main differences between uh, creating threads by extending thread class and by implementing runnable interface is. So in uh, extending thread class we need not to create uh, uh, any object separately and we need not to pass to your thread class whereas this runnable interface. So we have to create an object for your user defined thread and then later we can pass the object of your user defined thread to the thread class object and then by using this thread class object we can start the user defined thread class that is only the main difference between uh, for uh, creating threads by extending and implementing the runnable interface i just run this program uh, and here my program name is uh, thread example so i'm using my java compiler and then here i'm given like thread example one dot java so after com uh, successful compilation so now it's time to execute so simply i'm using java then here i'm giving um, thread example one so now you can find out the multiplication table is from four ones to four fifteen so this is output for this program Thank you.